Today I'm here at Specialized Aquatic Solution. This fish store is pretty amazing. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so when we walked in, there's this huge tank right here. This is a salt water tank. And um, here we have Hello. Bishan yep. from Specialized Aquatic Solutions. Um, could you help us go through this tank a little bit, please? Okay, um, do you see that guy there? The jam tank? Yeah. So that guy, I would say one of the most special fish that we'll see in this tank. Um, it's a rare fish and it's, well, I mean, it's one it's of... It's really beautiful. Yeah. So I think this guy should be uh, taken off the Mauritius Sea. Um, and yeah, it's been with us for close to two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Yeah. Here. And uh, some other special fish that you would see would be all right, the two pop eye catalufas right there. Um, they are from Mexico and okay. they the eyes are really huge just because they are really deep sea fishes so that they can capture light even when they are down at a deep sea bait so that they can find food and stuff. So that they see better. Yeah. But here's another one with big eyes. Yeah, so this is actually uh, I believe this is captured in the Indo Pacific region. Um, the other name for this guy is called the soldier fish. Um, so it looks really similar with the Papua catalufa, but I think it's different. Uh, sea region and the way it's, the, the skin is, is different now. So yeah, I mean, this guy is with us for 10 years now. So yeah, it was like a, maybe an inch. And today it's like this, this huge guy is in the tank. How about this, this guy? Uh, uh, the Achilles tank? Yeah. Um, like this tank is always known as one of the most notorious um, reef tanks uh, just because it's aggressive, it's slightly sensitive, but because it swims really majestically, yeah. it's got this really nice color of food. So a lot of our reefers or our customers would try to challenge themselves a little to have them in their tank. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy uh, our highest or our longest record is to have an Achilles tank in a, a tank wet condition for about 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. So this guy is with us for I think 6 months now. Yeah. So let's see how I want this guy to be here forever actually. There it is. So that's your Watanabe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's probably known as Japanese angelfish. Um, this is actually a, kind of like a donation from one of our customers. So if you can see how it's shaped, it's kind of uh, a little bit on the fat side, I must say. Yeah. Um, so this is the female version. Uh, we don't have the male version right now. So the males will come with stripes. So with a little bit of yellow at the top. Yeah. Do you have other fish? Uh, how about the starfish? What, what does the starfish do? <laughs> what does the starfish do? Uh, most starfish, they will actually be uh, crawling around the tank, eating up everything that's on the surfaces. Um, and just like a, kind of like part of the cleaner crew, um, there are larger starfish as well that they will probably be eating up shrimps and, and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a reef uh, safe uh, starfish. Yeah. And there's a, another one at the back. Yeah, so they are all around. So this size, you will get them in orange, blue, uh, sometimes a little bit um, brownish. These are the common colors. So yeah, this is a very good colored size. Yeah. All the corals in here are alive? Yes, everything is alive. Um, so basically you have a good mix of um, soft corals. Yeah. Uh, soft corals mainly means that corals that do not have a skeleton. I think that's just a good definition, easy definition. Okay. So you see that in like this fingers, yeah. um, the toadstool leather here. Uh, some of the soft corals on... So sea fan is actually also... Um, Oh, so yeah, the I've always thought those were fake because yeah, yeah no. they look fake. Yeah. <laughs> so um, they are the die for in the US because uh, they are mainly found in the Indo-Pacific but it's so difficult to transport over because they have to be fully packed in water. So I think that uh, a lot of the guys in the US will die for to look at these guys. Um, and then the, this is actually called the elephant ear. It's just yeah. a really, really giant uh, version of a, a mushroom. I um, saw one of the clownfish likes to yeah. be in there. It's kind of wrong though, because uh, I think it mis uh, mistaken it for anybody. Yeah. So yeah, this guy might not really like it if it keeps rubbing at it. Um, 
So yeah, so these are the soft powers that, that we have uh, pointed out. And then you have your LPS, which is under the hard corals. Um, and generally that means that anything that is under hard coral series would be that they have a skeleton shape. I can show you what is it like later. But yeah, so this is the hammer coral. These are from Australia. Um, and then we have some clams here. That oh, so there are clams yeah, in this These are clams, yeah. These are clams. Um, and we have the bubble coral over there. The These are coral. also hard corals. Yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah. Do you know how tall this tank is? So this is 1.5 meters. 1. The tank size. And then yeah. uh, total height now with the stand below, it's uh, 1.8 meters. Yeah. So the length is 2 meters and the depth, uh, or rather the width of the tank is 1 meter. So that is about 3,000 meters of water here. About 800 gallons. Can we take a look? Yeah, sure. There? So this here is the filtration the skimmer? Yes. So this skimmer, it's uh, what is uh, used for this tank in front and then the filtration is actually at the back. And you see this is actually where our uh, overflow system is at. Oh yeah, so the water yeah. comes. So you cut a hole in the wall? Uh, yes, if you are in a, in a hole, yes. But yeah, we did that. Um, yeah. Alright, so... This is a tank, mm -hmm. tank section. Yeah, so this is a purple tank. Uh, it's only found in the Red Sea region. So if you see from earlier, it's kind of like the same as the jet tank. Yeah. It's shaped exactly the same. But of course, uh, the difference in that little color makes it red. So that's where the jet tank is a bit different. Um, so yeah, this is uh, from the Red Sea and um, We've got a special shipment like last week, so the smaller sizes are already all snapped up because they have been out of um, stock for a while now. Okay. So yeah, these are quite rare guys that we are looking at right now. Right. Um, and the orange uh, guy to see below is uh, the African snake bat. Yeah, it's in the pygmy uh, angel series. So they don't grow so big. Yeah, they will, they will see pretty much the size they got just one or two cm a bit longer. Um, there in the fourth cubicle you can yeah. see um, the blue tank. Um, these guys are slightly different just because they have a bit of yellow belly. Uh, again these are found uh, in African seas. So yeah, this is a little bit different from the Indo-Pacific kind that is totally blue. Um, you can see the bottom of their body is a little bit more yellow. So some reefers actually prefer these guys um, just for variety sick as well. Yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at the corals. So, um, here you're looking at a tank full of SPS. SPS. Uh, yes, SPS. Does it stand for something? Small polyp something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, basically the S, the first S is actually uh, small. Okay. So LPS would be large. So this um, scalenias that you're looking at here, uh, these are large, which is LPS, and then that's SPS. So the stony corals, um, they like to call it as well. Um, so what really appeals to people about SPS is that it has this pesto color, and you will see um, that a lot of people love to have them because they are able to see the growth, yeah. and kind of challenging to hold the color. Um, they are not the easiest, um, homes that you want to have for beginners. Um, usually people who are intermediate or advanced would start with all these calls. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of water chemistry and stability that you have to achieve in this. Here we have everything that is uh, LPS. So it's larger and there are polyps. So look at this one, um, the pink gonioporus. Uh, these guys are pretty much uh, rare as well in the gold uh, for us, but yeah, I mean, we do get a nice shipment, so you see that they look like, uh, commonly we call them flower pots, because they just look like, you know, flowers coming out. Yeah. Um, so... Are they, are these all the same? Uh, uh, the pink one, yes. So, the alternative colour would be green, yeah, on this side, which is more common. And so we have an orange one here, that is really, 
rare uh, now. Uh, this is from Australia. It's uh, we call them the Rainbow uh, Golden Flora. So yeah, these guys are are big. Yeah. Oh, is that a magnifying glass? Or something? Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. So it's easy for uh, the readers to look at the small little uh, tentacles. Yeah. Can we take a look at some of the fish here? Because there's some really beautiful fish. Okay, which one do you want to know more about? Um, this one right here. This one? Yeah. Okay, this is the Kaisuru's angel. Uh, it's from Africa. It's commonly it's called Neil's Sport Angel. But yeah, it's an it's a angel. So, um, you do not want to put it in your reef tank because it needs corals. But yeah, it's, it's great for fish only tanks because these guys they grow and they swim and you can see how they get. Um, if you watch Finding Nemo, yeah. you'll see this guy. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, this that's is the, the, the guy with the dentist tank. Yes, the guy with the scar. Yeah. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. the Moorish idol. Yeah. Um, how about this one? What is this called? This is, uh, this this is really a, beautiful. Juvenile Emperor Angel. Juvenile Emperor Angel. So now it's still, look at the um, spots. It's kind of like um, in circular yeah. motion and yeah. then it's only got blue, black and white. white. Yeah, so I'll show you when it grows up. So, so this now it's, it still, has, it's still pretty small. Yes. The size wise is still, it's, it's already an adult now. Um, so now we have scale that it was not enough in, in original juvenile fish. Yeah, all the circles are yeah, gone. Yeah, all the circles are gone. Now they are in perfect shape. Right? But if you look at this tank, like you said, this, this fish here, you said that it looks like it's, a, it's still small. Yeah. So you will see that the lines are still a little bit kind of like crooked. Yeah. It's like not straight lines. But look how it's becoming when it's a real wow. adult right now. Yeah, so the awesome. lines are complete straight lines. And this is huge. Yeah. display tank that we're trying to show off um, a full LPS tank so all this is uh, mainly from Australia where you have a mix of Aikens, Hammer, uh, Elegant and at the bottom you would see open brains open brains yes. these things yes. uh, um, yeah these are all the common names that we're using okay yeah um, that fish right there it's the Rose banded ras. Um, it's quite rare, so we just got it uh, this this couple of weeks. Yeah, another one. Oh, uh, is yeah. that a yellow tank? Yes. So you look at that nice size purple tank. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the purple tank. Yeah, so that's the purple tank. So earlier you were asking me if um, the Congos actually take the food. Yeah. So kind of in a way, when I do this. Whatever remaining food does go to um, the coral, and then they will just snap it up. Okay. But of course, um, because they have different size tentacles, yeah. So this is LPS. It's actually large, so they can take it. But for the small ones, they will need smaller powdery food to capture food. So that's how it is. And this is a smaller. Yeah, so we have a mix of uh, soft corals here. Um, generally speaking, beginner tanks should start a uh, more advisable start with um, soft corals. Uh, so there you have the finger, and that's the mushroom. Um, the green one is the mushroom, and it's pretty sustainable just because soft corals actually love um, a little bit more nitrate in the water. Which is completely opposite of SPS and LPS. They like the water super clean. 
yeah, those guys they like the water super clean. Um, they thrive better with lower nitrates and uh, phosphate. So when you are a beginner, you know, when you're still a little bit on the trying to manage your time and stuff like that or your system, yeah. then it's more advisable to start with uh, soft corals. So this is a pretty sustainable soft coral tank that uh, we want to have, but we add a little bit of LPS just to you know try and see how it reacts. So that's a um, blue tank that we have. And that's the royal gamma. The purple and purple yellow and one. yellow one. So what happened to this tank is that because when we were you know we we'll put in some oh, that's shrimp. yeah that's the fire shrimp yeah when um, we had this tank on and we have different fish in there and our customers are always buying from here yeah so what happened is that this fish they got so smart and they knew that you know we're gonna take them out so they always eat and swim right back into their holes yeah, yeah, I saw the clownfish, they like to yeah. go straight yeah. back to their home. Yeah. And the flame angel, so you can like to hide back there. Yeah. So now we don't really get to see this fish out <laughs> so much, unfortunately. So now over here, we come into a little bit of a freshwater section. This here is a little shallow tank. I'm not so sure if you can call this a paludarium, but you can see plants growing above the surface of the water and the lighting that this plant gets is from the sun outside. These tanks are all by the window, so there's also this light right here, but this is mainly for the anubias inside. And you can see there's cardinal tetras in there looking really good. And uh, you, you, you see who's the over here there's like a jungle tank. Really nice looking, densely planted. You can see a few rainbow fish, some balloon rams, and then there's a whole bunch of ember tetras. The ember tetras are really peaceful. And then here there are two little paludariums and um there is filtration, so the water does flow really slowly. And you can see a whole bunch of products here. For salt water and fresh water. You can see wave makers around. And there are pumps. Fertilizers. And then here is where the freshwater fish are. So, as you can tell, just by looking at this section, that salt water is the main feature of this store. There are some very nice fish here. Let's take a look at some of them. So, up above there are some red zebra daniels, and then there are some black bantams as well. There's not really much in the tanks here, but I saw some white cloud minnows and some panda quarries in there, albino panda quarries. This tank I really like because of all the colors. Look how vibrant this tank is. All the platies and mollies in here. Over here there's some emperor tetras. Uh, these are some African cichlid, the yellow lab African cichlid, and I love how they put it, them with Anubias. Uh, some guppies and here are some penguin tetras. These tetras are so cool. And look at them all. Such a cool looking fish. I love that black color stripe. And down here, this tank is also really nice. There's a whole bunch of endler guppies with um, neon tetras. It's just really colorful. Here are some rummy nose tetras. And you have some plants, freshwater plants. Mostly easy to care for things here. Angelfish. And here are some parrotfish. The parrotfish are really beautiful. Look at that deep red color. And down below there's a tank full of mollies. Again, this tank is really colorful. And then some rainbow fish here, red rainbows as well as the Bosmani rainbows, some smaller assorted angelfish, cardinal tetras, 
And here are some Colombian Tetras, and I love how this tank is set up. Look at the Nubius, it's just covering everything, and it makes the inside of this tank look like a jungle. Here are some African cichlids, cichlids from Lake Malawi. Uh, a few tiger barbs in this tank. And next door there are some guppies. And check this out, I like this section. A whole bunch of API products. Uh, let's take a look at some of the products they have. So here they have some Vitalis food. Uh, they have food for saltwater fish and freshwater fish. It looks really good. I might have to get one myself. Uh, they have the red sea salt. Here are some of the pumps. Aquarium pumps. And this cylindrical tank right here um, used to have some monster fish, but not monster, but really big saltwater fish. And when I came here a few months ago, they were all swimming around and it looked really cool. I think there are some GTs, giant trabellies in here, but I'm not too sure. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button if you're new to the channel. My battery's gonna die anytime now. Um, but check out Specialized Aquatics on Facebook and come down to this store. They have some awesome saltwater stuff, um, amazing fish, amazing corals, and fresh water as well. And I will see you next time.